Although Bazite is my favorite operating system, I know that it's not everyone's cup of tea. So in this video, we're going to look at how to uninstall Bazite from a dual boot setup without having to reinstall Windows. If you've installed Bazite, it will probably be your default boot option. So let's go into the BIOS and make Windows Boot Manager first in our boot order. The setting will be somewhere else in your BIOS. Look online for how to change the boot order in your BIOS. Next, if we open up Disk Management by right-clicking the Start menu and clicking Disk Management, Windows won't let us remove Bazite's EFI partition. So instead, we're going to download a tool that can. Open your browser and go to resize-c.com and we'll download the free version. Now extract the tool and we're going to use the portable version, the 64-bit version. If you followed my dual boot guide or the Banzai documentation, you should have a 300 meg EFR partition, a one gigabyte extension 4 partition, which is shown as an extension 3 in this tool for some reason, and a BetterFS partition, which is your main partition that's used for Bazite. He has the rest of the Windows partitions over there. The only things we want to remove are the ones related to Bazite. So let's remove these three partitions. Click on Apply Changes. Make sure you don't remove your C drive. Great, now we can close this tool and we can just use normal disk management to extend our volume to use the remainder of the drive. Now we've got Windows is using the full drive, but we've got one more step that we need to complete and this one is optional. When you're in the BIOS, we've still got the boot entry for Fedora or Bazite. Sometimes it will be called Fedora, sometimes it will be called Bazite. I'm going to remove this boot entry. And it's no longer there. Note that every BIOS is different, so the way in which you remove if I entries in the BIOS will be different for your BIOS. Have a look online to see how to do that. Let's just restart the machine. And our system will boot straight into Windows as if Bazite was never installed. As you can see, if Bazite is not for you, it's a relatively easy process to go back to Windows. Thank you for watching. I hope this guide was helpful. Have a lovely day. Goodbye.